I'm going to tell you a little something about Drew Brown. I often get overwhelmed by fountain pen options, ink options as well. I cope with the paralyzing array of possibilities by fabricating a bunch of arbitrary barriers, rules, and restrictions to pare down my options. And today, I'm gonna do that for you. You want a blue pen? I got you. In the market for a black pen? No worries, there's only one choice. Your uncle's buddy from Clown College needs a turquoise pen for her sister's former roommate's wombat? Say no more. You bring the color preference, I'll bring the perfect pen. As long as you happen to have the exact same taste and opinions as I do. Let's get started. There are a lot of black pens out there, chief among them very likely being either the Lamy 2000 or the Pilot Vanishing Point in matte black, but neither of them are what you're looking for today, right? No, no. What you're looking for is the Lamy Studio LX in all black. The Studio? Doesn't that have a slippery metal grip section? Nope, not the all black. Comfy, grippy grip section, and then a snappy snap post and cap that meets up exceptionally well to the barrel and all black everything, including an uber stealthy nib. Blue pens, also common. Luckily, we're putting on our tunnel vision goggles and only looking at the Lamy Dialog CC in dark blue. First things first, it's retractable. Great for taking notes, quick draw uses, and comes with Lamy's first 18 karat gold nib with rose gold matching the pen itself, which, come on, did you know dark blue and rose gold were going to look this good together? No! That's why you need me. Let's get down to brown. I'm very much a fan of this color, and I'm also very much a fan of the Visconti Mirage Mythos in Apollo. One great thing about brown pens is that even if you're not a gold hardware type of person, brown makes it work. The gold hardware on the Mythos specifically is a really unique uh, satin gold that Visconti introduced fairly recently, um, and I think it looks great overall, but this brown really tag teams with it exceptionally well. For a clear pen, naturally I considered recommending a Twisby for you. However, after carefully considering your individual needs and personal preferences, it became transparent to me that you need a Pilot Kakuno in clear. The Kakuno is the best thing about the entire Pilot fountain pen library because it represents how they can make a great pen at any price. It's like 12 Angry Men or The Breakfast Club. It doesn't need anything but great performance, right? Plus, the clear Kakuno is the only one available with an extra fine nib in the US, which means it's the only one with the goofy face. Going to green now. I am approaching this one from a different point of view. The Platinum Placier has long been a model that I didn't think made any sense compared to the Preppy, but I always did acknowledge that they had some really nice colors. The anodized aluminum creates a seriously rich and vibrant look. I finally came around to the place here after hearing some first-hand accounts of its durability and its performance, and they were right. The Placier deserves a chance, and this green is the best of the bunch. So if you're going green, go with Placier. Okay, we're going to cover orange now. If you love orange pens, you've probably already got an orange Diplomat Arrow in your arsenal. If you don't, then do. What made this color so tough to pick was that uh, I, I wanted to recommend the Arrow for so many colors. This pen really has a way with colors. So no matter what little nugget of the rainbow you're after, the arrow is a solid pick. But the orange though, mm, it's delicious. Anodized orange, obviously, but that dark gray trim really brings the whole thing together. The, uh, the visual all together here is just right on point. Backed, 
hot pink is the best pink. Fact, bears eat beets. Oh. Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. Fact, black and hot pink are best friends. They're partners like buddy cops, Riggs and Murtaugh, Tango and Cash, Turner and Hooch. So obviously, if you want a pink pen, then you want the Pilot Explorer. It's rad and it writes fantastically. The satin gloss on the Explorer uh, creates a great color personality and the this specific color is loud and exciting. The best of the pinks. Also bonus tip, this one pairs really well with Diamine Hope Pink. So much fun. Mm. It's a fun pen. Go have fun with this. The Diplomat Magnum in Prismatic Purple is the pen you want if you're looking for a purple pen. Yes, there are other purple pens out there, but they're not prismatic. Listen to me now. This purple pen sets itself apart from other purples because of its iridescence. The Magnum sets itself apart from other pens in its price range because it has a surprisingly comfortable nib. Unique pen, unique color, so avoid this purple if you're not interested in awesomeness, I guess. Reds are tricky. Generally, not the most popular color, but there are some good ones. Even the popular ones, though, they have their critics. They do. All but one. I checked with literally everyone on Earth, and uh, the Custom 74 from Pilot in Grenadine is the only red fountain pen that gets it right. There are some good, quite popular burgundy pens, yes. But to get popular, they had to go the burgundy route. To be popular and stay a legit red, that's a feat. Grenadine, Custom 74, a true red that everyone agrees is the pen you need. At first, I thought choosing the best silver pen for you would be challenging. And then I realized there's only one, meaning the Pilot Silvern is the only pen we have that is literally sterling silver. This model flies a bit under the radar, but it's got a terrific build and a phenomenal inlaid nib. As I mentioned, you literally can't find a more silver pen. It's on the heavier side for sure, but it's not large, so it works. Plus, uh, both of its available patterns are just marvelous to look at. Turquoise. There are a lot of options to consider here. This is a seriously popular color, and thus there are quite a few to choose from. But why choose when you can simply surrender your free will to yours truly? And trust me when I tell you that you need a Caveco All Sport in Iguana Blue. This pen is truly captivating. The aluminum colors within this model all have a unique softness uh, to them, both in look and feel. The All Sport is super durable and obviously super portable, so no brainer? Yeah. What is turquoise, you ask? And what's the difference between that and teal? Fear not, I have expertly defined it for you in this video here. When white pens are done right, they can be seriously stunning. Even if white pens aren't your thing, consider the Twisby White and Rose Gold 580. The rose gold and white union is a tried and true design combo, but Twisby really got it dialed in here. It's not all white, but I think this one is the one to go with because the rose gold trim really was made with this white in mind, as far as Twisby goes, and I think it shows. The pen has a classiness to it too, not like a snooty monocle wearing sort of classiness, but like a yeah, I have a cane, but it's also a sword. Like that kind of classiness. <laughs> okay, I'm excited about this last one. A yellow fountain pen. And I'm gonna be honest with you, yellow pens, almost always the worst selling color. And that means you'll usually see the yellow being dropped from a selection of colors, but not the yellow Lamy Safari. For this selection, I wanted to go with A, a pen that was unabashedly yellow, and B, a pen that has long avoided getting the chop due to lack of sales. Once again, those arbitrary rules 
Once they were in place, the choice was easy. Yeah, the yellow preppy has been around for a while too, but that's timidly yellow. The safari is proud yellow and has stood the test of time. Any other yellow pen is just a momentary flash of light passing beneath the majesty of the yellow safari's sunlight. Thank you for joining me. That has been my subjective, loosely justified, highly questionable, yet 100% irrefutable list. If you do wish to refute though, uh, pop it in the comments and I'll see you there. Have fun, right on.